Tesla has summoned workers to its Shanghai facility where they will be required to dwell on site as part of China's closed loop management approach in order to prepare for the restart. Shanghai's lockdown and broader China. Restrictions are wreaking havoc on the world's number two economy in what is shaping up to be a crucial year for President Xi Jinping, who is poised to win a third term in office in the autumn. To achieve that purpose, it is increasing testing and transferring positive cases and their close connections to isolation centers. COVID restrictions hurt consumption and employment in March, according to data released on Monday, with experts forecasting a weaker overall economic picture. The city shut down, as well as China's efforts to contain the outbreak abroad, have harmed the economy and thrown global supply lines into disarray. Shanghai's 25 million residents have faced job losses, erratic food shortages, family separation, and deplorable conditions in quarantine centers. Even yet, most workers will be forced to reside on site and no word yet on how companies will manage with disrupted supply lines and market access, as well as closures mandated by authorities in neighboring cities, and port and trucking issues. Last week, Beijing said that it had compiled a white list of 666 companies that would be given priority in reopening or maintaining operations in Shanghai. Tesla, Volkswagen, VOWGP.DE, and SAIC Motor, 600104.SS, as well as semiconductor and medical companies, are among them. SAIC Motor, 600104.SS, said Monday that stress testing on its own production. Resumption plans would begin on Monday, while Volkswagen said it was investigating the viability of restarting production at its joint venture with SAIC. Manufacturers such as Tesla, TSLA.O, began preparing to reopen their Shanghai operations on Monday as China's most populous city accelerates efforts to return to normal following a nearly three-week COVID lockdown. Tesla had wanted to start one manufacturing shift on Monday but was now targeting Tuesday, according to sources, with one citing a logistical issue with a supplier as the reason for the delay.